Let's begin by adding the color field to the banner model. We'll set a display name of background color, we'll leave the API ID as is, we'll not make any validation requirements and we won't set a initial value. Once that field's been added, let's now add a new content entry for our banner. And here you can use the color picker and you can select any color or you can enter the hex or RGBA values. Once you're happy with the color, you can go ahead and save and publish this document. In edit mode, you can change the colors of course and save that. Next, inside of the API playground, let's search for the banner type. If we inspect the banner type, we can now see we have this background color and it's of the type color, which has the fields hex, RGBA and CSS. RGBA has its own type of values. Now let's go ahead and query all of our banners. We'll get the background color and we'll also get the hex, the CSS and the RGBA values. Now you didn't need to specify all of these values from the CMS, you just had to select a color using the picker or enter in a hex and those would be automatically generated. Next, if we have a look at the create banner mutation, we can see that it accepts the banner create input type. And we can set the background color through a GraphQL mutation. We can either set the hex value or the RGBA value. So inside of the API playground, now let's run that create banner mutation and pass it the data with background color. And here we'll pass it the hex value. Then when I return, I will return the RGBA values, the hex and the CSS values. And you'll see based on this one input of the hex value, these other values are automatically generated by GraphCMS.